Hello there, fellow Dazzlers and new players alike. Razzle Joestar here bringing you something that I should have had done already. Oops. This is going to be a tutorial on how to get the um, Neo Geo 25th Anniversary ROMs and uh, put them into your favorite emulator. I kind of touched a little bit on this in the Metal Slug X video. I mentioned that you can download them, you can purchase and download them uh, officially. Um, there's the Steam version. For these Neo Geo ROMs and there is a Humble Bundle version. I mentioned wanting to get it on Humble Bundle. Um, now before we begin I want to throw something out there real quick. Hey if you like what I put out uh, don't forget rate, comment, and subscribe. All of that stuff helps. Remember you got to click that little bell there and become a ringling razzler. Ringling dazzler I mean so you can get updated on when I throw out new videos. Why? Because I throw out videos whenever I feel like it. So that being said let's get started here. We are going to navigate away from uh, Mirror World here. As you can see, I amateurishly left OBS on. So let's get started. Um, so I have the manager left his Twitter feed on. Stop that. No. No. You can close that. So I already went and purchased a uh, one of them right here. We have Samurai Showdown 5 Special. In hindsight, I should have did Metal Slug. So um, what you'll do is you'll go ahead and click on that after you purchase the, after you purchase the game. Um, and you can actually play it in your browser, which I think is pretty cool. But what you want to do is just whack the download button there. You can already see it's um, downloaded there. I have the install file here. So what you do is you're just going to double click that. And you are going to have to install the, the game first. This is the first problem I have is they have no launcher or anything like that. You have to actually install install their little emulator. So you can see it right here. And you hit next. And uh, it'll it'll go ahead and do its thing. I already have it installed, but I'm just going to do it anyways, again, just to kind of show you guys the process here. And... Bing! We're done. So it's going to be located, uh, you're going to go start, or if you're Windows, and I imagine any other OS would kind of follow this similar way. You're going to go start, scroll all the way down to your ends for Neo Geo 25th Anniversary, and... You're going to click on that. Now, it says it won't work on Windows XP. I think it should still install, but, I mean, if you do the trick that we're going to show, we're going to do, then um, you should be able to play it on Windows XP anyways. So you'll see it load up. and get your little logos. Dot emu, I believe. That's a, that's a group that uh, that handled the emulation for this. So you got to sit through a bajillion splash screens. We're already off to a good start here. There we go. I mean, it's pretty cool that they got a little menu and a little, and a little uh, cute little Neo Geo. That's what a Neo Geo console actually looks like for the home versions. The cartridges were really big. I should do a video on that sometime, maybe. So you can launch the game. Um, there's some options, which I believe you can... Oh, yeah. They don't let you uh, They don't let you change the controls. And then you have gamepad. They don't. I don't think they let you change that either. So good luck with that. You got your game options, your difficulties, continues, all that stuff. Graphical options, just windowed or full screen. And your sound options. So you can already see, if you know how to work your way around MAME, there's like little cool things you can add, like scale lines and all that stuff that the supports don't really offer. So let's launch the game. Press enter, start to activate your keyboard or control. So I have my Mayflash plugged in right now, and I'm trying to find... I don't even think... I don't think this recognizes my Mayflash. I don't think it does. Oh, probably because it's not X input. So we already have. Oh, there we go. Oh, there. Oh, there we go. I, I think I. Oh, that's right. It has to. I'm just gonna use the keyboard. <laughs> Let's use the keyboard. So where's the start button on this? I, 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 this is why I need to pay attention to this kind of thing. I. Yeah, see, if this was MAME, I could hit tab and change things, so I can't, I, let's let's go to the controls again. Yeah, see, they make enter the start key. Why, why would you do that? Why would you, is it, oh, is it not working because I, I have my, my, there we go, my controller plugged in. I also don't know what version. Oh, the other thing too is you can't control like what 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 version you're playing. So I don't 
I think this defaults to the American version, I believe. So I don't really know how to play Samurai Show, <laughs> as you can tell. I'm kind of just, you know, there you go. I've heard there's been some problems too with this. I don't know if they've been fixed because I've never really paid attention to using this version. But I've heard of issues with like graphical issues, input issues, input uh, issues with like things running too fast or whatever. But there you go. Let's get out of here. I'm, we're gonna we're gonna quit because I'm 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 through with that. I'm through with you. So now if you're like, wow, well I want to be using my own emulator of my choice and be able to bind buttons easily. And other not have to sit through ten splash. Oh, also the other thing too that sucks is every time you want to switch a game, you're gonna have to quit, scroll all the way down to Neo Geo 25th anniversary and load a different ROM. There's no like I mentioned earlier, there's no launcher, there's no nothing. They didn't even come up with like you know I mean at least Sega Genesis and Master Collection on 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 uh, Steam has a cute little menu you can go through and pick your games. Like come on guys, you had an opportunity and you dropped the ball. Like this is this is this is worse than the launch of Mighty Number no. Nine. Okay, not that bad, not that bad. But all right, so we're gonna pull this up. I already have the Samurai Showdown Five uh, thing open here, but if you go with the default install path, it's gonna be your local disk C, program files. Um, it's gonna be in Neo Geo 25th Anniversary, and then you have the game right here. Now the ROMs literally are just lying in there waiting for you to pluck them out. They even gave you the Neo Geo BIOS. So all you do is, um, if you remember the uh, tutorial that I did, you just grab the ROMs. I think this is a ROM, but I'm just going to grab it anyways. And we're going to copy. Then we're going to jump over to our main folder. We're going to go to ROMs. If I can find it, I always, I, always, I always lose track of the ROMs folder for some reason. Now I think I have these installed already, but I'm just going to go ahead and replace anyways. And there we go. We've installed them into a MAME. Now, or whatever your favorite thing is, you know, I believe like when KWOX and Nebula both just drop them in your ROMs folder, it should be good. Um, and then we're just going to load up our favorite emulator. All right, so um, so now we're just going to load up our favorite version of MAME. I'm going to go ahead and roll with MAUI FX64 because that one just seems to work with whatever ROMs I throw into it. And sometimes there's like weird issues where like you put in your ROMs and then it says I can't find them. For whatever reason, because you don't have them. I think that has to do with ROM versions and ROM sets and stuff that I honestly haven't really looked out into. But I'm going to crack that soon enough and help you all out with that once I get the answers. It's just I'm busy with a lot of other things at the moment. Anyways, let's go ahead and open this up. So I switched my controller back to uh, the original version I had it set to, which was uh, PS3 slash direct input. I think I had to switch it over to X input because sometimes some programs won't recognize a, uh, they only work with direct, uh, with X input. So it's Windows for you. So, okay. So we have our Samurai Showdown 5 ROM right here. And look, if I want to change what version I'm playing, properties, or actually, no, it would be, uh, properties for, yeah, no, it would be properties. Yeah. Properties. And then it's around here somewhere. Is it miscellaneous? Yeah, BIOS version. Oh, let's play the Japanese version or whatever version. We're gonna stick with the US version though, because I'm, I'm gonna scrub like that. Okay, and then why did it go black? There we go, and look at this. I can easily change and open up my menu to change my controls. My stick works like it should. I think because the thing was, like, I didn't pay attention to is um, on the Mayflash fight stick, it does have like what what um, buttons would correspond to an Xbox or a PS3 controller. But me being the genius that I am, I didn't really pay attention to the controller mapping, which is why it's good to have controller configuration. Because watch this, I can just go to input this game and slide through here. Oops, my bad. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Oh, let me just let me just hit the delete key and there we go. And then Oh, oh there we go. Got all my four buttons laid out in a row. I don't have to like click around like I don't know what I'm doing. 
I'm still going to slash around like I don't know what I'm doing, because, I, again, I haven't really played much of Samurai Showdown 5, but, or Samurai Showdown in general. Oh, and by the way, for those of you who uh, it said it can't work with Windows XP, you can now play on Windows XP. Because you MAME works on Windows XP. I believe that the Neo Geo 25th Anniversary does have um, ports for other operating systems. But again, you know, I just want to use MAME because it's better. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how to how to use the power, but oh well, I win anyways. He mad. A close fight. Let's go again. But yeah, there you go. That's and also best of all. I can just easily go to another Neo Geo game. Oh my god, I won't play some Metal Slug X. Let's just click that sucker and like go and 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 wait for it to load. And we don't have to sit through five minutes of splash screens like Oh, I don't have the control set on that, so again, you know, just oh, let me just come in through here and Mame's weird sometimes with my uh, May Flash and it will like not recognize the buttons I put so I have to go through and do it again. I don't know why it does that but yeah that's but you know it's but a little delay but there we go we're, we're playing this. Now the cool thing um is some games like Metal Slug for instance you actually get a mission select you can you can go through and play whatever missions you want <clears throat> when you beat them but I mean I'm sure there's like a cheat menu or a way to do that with MAME anyways but the other problem that I found too is, um, aside from it being a subpar port, is um, your high score will reset every time you die, at least on the Steam version. I don't know if the Humble Bundle version does that. Like, uh, pay attention to my score here real quick. I'll get myself killed on purpose. Because as far as I know, like, it keeps your score. I don't remember my score ever resetting no matter what version. I'm playing the, I believe I'm playing the American version right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm playing the American version. So, I don't know if that's just like a US thing or... All right, see, I, oh no, I still have one life left. I remember being little and like this being like the furthest I could get. <laughs> I remember that. Or the guy with the camel and me, that being the farthest I could get. Okay. Look at that, my score is still left. So it's not something the American version does because I believe I just have the, I saw the, the uh, US version loaded. So I don't know why that is. I don't know if that's something .mu did or if there's like a, maybe there's like a certain version, maybe like a certain version of the American or Japanese ROM or a setting. No, no, there's no setting that resets your high score, but maybe there's like some reason, some ROM version they loaded where your high score resets and that really blows. No pun intended. Now, if I can only... Oops. I swear I'm good at this game, guys. I swear. I swear I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a loser. Oh my, that slowdown. You know, if only there's a way to stop that from happening. Well, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Like you know, I'm, it's it's for me. I as soon as I found out that I could use these in meme, I just went and and. Uh, loaded them up in the main. I haven't even really messed around with those ports, which is part of the reason why it looked like I didn't know what I was doing, because I don't... I, I, it's like, oh, I could use MAME instead of these like crappy .emu ports? Okay, cool. Count me in. I think there's even a rumor that they um, ended up using an emulator that they didn't really have full permission to use, so... I haven't confirmed that myself, but yeah. Anyways, that's all I got. I'm just gonna conclude the video here with some tank busting action. I'm Russell Jester. Remember, as I said before, rate, comment, subscribe for more nonsense. Um, all that stuff that you do really can help out the channel. And we have our Patreon and our Kofi. 
going on as well. I don't have any sweet rewards set up for patrons yet, but hey, if you guys are really interested in that kind of thing, I will see what we can do for y'all. So, uh, my name is Russell Joestar. I can't believe I just did a sales pitch while playing Metal Slug X. Uh, <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, take care, everybody. At least I saved the slug. Mission complete!